a few weeks ago, we covered 10 reasons you'd want to use Apple Notes over Notability. In an effort to complete this comparison, this is the second and final part of our 2021 Apple Notes versus Notability comparison. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic one, welcome back. If you'd like to see what some of us get up to during our spare time, make sure to check out Oreo's lifestyle. Notability's pages with vertical scrolling give you the same infinite sense you get with pages in Apple Notes. You can keep writing without needing to manually add pages. Your handwriting can overlap between the pages, so you won't really feel like your pages are ending. However, Notability's pages have a demarcation to mark where pages end and new ones start. Distinct pages give you a subtle warning, which is a tremendous help when you want to export your notes out of the application. Your notes will not be cut off at inconvenient places, like you get with Apple Notes. Notability has one more line spacing option if you want a narrower option for your page templates. The three line spacing options in Apple Notes are all too wide. In Notability, you can also do the following with your pages. You can change their color from 15 options. You can move your pages around, bookmark them, which are all things you can't do with your pages in Apple Notes. You can also use custom page templates in Notability. For example, I am using this minimalist digital notebook designed by our Paperless X team. We have done a full review of these digital notebooks if you're interested in organizing your notes using a digital notebook. You can easily copy background to copy the page template to create multiple copies of the template as much as you need. You can zoom in on your pages in Notability. It would be better if we could see the percentage zoom on pages, but it is still better than not being able to zoom. You even get a zoom tool in the application with auto advance. Zooming in on pages lets you add a lot more information on your pages. It's one of the perks you get from digital note taking. Apple Notes probably doesn't have a zoom feature because it uses raster ink. The ink in the application pixelates or loses its resolution the more you zoom in on it. Notability lets you save favorite pens, highlighters, erasers, and lasso tools to a mobile favorites toolbar. This saves you time you'd otherwise waste trying to customize your pens all the time. In Apple Notes, you can't save your favorite pens or colors for easy access. Changing your pen tool is therefore a lot more work in Apple Notes than it is in Notability, especially if you use a lot of different pens when taking notes. The pen tool in Notability has 12 fixed sizes, a wide variety for any occasion. In Apple Notes, you're limited to only five options. You also get four types of pens in Notability, where you only have one option in Apple Notes. In Notability, you can customize your text more than you can in Apple Notes. For starters, you get a lot more fonts. The application even supports custom fonts. You can also resize your font, which means you can change your font size. You can change the color of your font. Save three favorite styles. Change line spacing. And the alignment for your text in text boxes. You can mix your text, images, and handwriting in Notability. In Apple Notes, you're limited to only mixing handwriting and images. Even then, it's not the best experience. Apple Notes still needs to improve this feature. Your text in Apple Notes has some fixed presets for titles, headings, subtitles, body, and monospace, which you can't change or customize them in any way. So if you like creating your own headings, titles, Apple Notes is definitely not the app you want to use. We recently got resizing capabilities for images mixed with handwriting in Apple Notes. Notability has been resizing images for years now. You can also rotate your images and wrap text around them. You can add formatted captions to your images by choosing a font, font size, color, and making it bold, italic, or underline. Notability supports more shapes than Apple Notes. 
especially useful is the app support for irregular shapes, which you can change after you've drawn them. You can also change the shape's border thickness, color, and fill your shapes. All options you don't get in Apple Notes. When you have recurring diagrams in your notes, you can save them as stickers in Notability. Stickers make it easy to reuse them and your diagrams remain editable if you want to modify them later. This can potentially save you a lot of time in the future. The audio recording feature in Notability is by far its best feature. It syncs to your notes, allowing you to animate the playback later. You can organize your audio recordings in a file by renaming, trimming, and merging them together. The application can also improve the playback quality by playing around with different frequencies in your recording. You have control over how your animation displays. It could either show the preview if you want to skip through your audio or not, and try guessing at your notes while playing back the audio. If you work with a lot of recordings, Notability can really make your life easier. Apple Notes only supports attaching audio that has been recorded elsewhere. Though it comes as an in-app purchase, Notability can convert your handwritten maths and chemical equations to text. You can then edit the LaTeX code if there are any mistakes in the conversion. Your conversion is a high resolution image that behaves like any other image in the application, but you can still change its color, which is awesome. While this is not as good as inline text conversion, it's still better than not having math conversion at all. Where Apple Notes attaches a PDF to your notes and opens it in a separate window for markup, Notability adds your PDF to your notes. The application doesn't open your PDF in a separate window with limited editing. It keeps the PDF in your app's working space. You can then use all the tools on your toolbar to annotate your PDFs, which gives you a better PDF annotation experience than what you'd get in Apple Notes. You can also import Word and PowerPoint presentations into Notability. The application first converts them to PDF before adding them to your notes for annotation. In Notability, you can filter to see only the pages in your PDF that contain annotations. Notability displays search results better than Apple Notes. You can search both apps' contents on the home screen. Both applications will search through your text, scans, handwriting, and PDFs, but only Notability highlights your search results. Search results are easier to find when they're highlighted. Apple Notes only highlights your text results and nothing else. The eraser in Notability can selectively erase your highlighter only. The first stroke you make erases the highlighter when using the whole eraser. It is quite a useful feature. When presenting something from Notability, you can remove the distraction of the user interface for your audience. As a presenter, you can see your app's user interface and even open another document with notes you wish to keep to yourself. Your audience sees a clean document and the annotations you make on it. You can make temporary changes to your document using the laser tool, and the laser markings disappear as soon as you lift your Apple Pencil off the screen. Is this presentation mode enough to change the way you're making presentations? Do tell. Apple Notes, on the other hand, does not have a presentation mode. Once you've created your notes in a note-taking app, chances are you might want to share them with other people. Apple Notes doesn't have great exporting options, so much that it is better to keep your notes in the application and collaborate on them. While that works, in certain circumstances, it is better to export them out. In Notability, you can share your notes as a PDF, note, image, or bridge text format. PDF is the best universal format to share notes. It can open on any device and you have a lot of options when exporting it. You can choose pages you want to export, include the page background, password protect the PDF, add margins, and preview the document you're exporting. You definitely can't do any of this in Apple Notes. 
Auto backup and syncing are very different. It's better when you get both, especially in a note taking app. If anything happens to your app and messes up your synced documents, a backup in a different location would help. Notability auto backs up your notes to Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Box, and WebDAV. Chances are you use at least one of these. You get more settings in Notability to customize your user experience in the application, which is not surprising because Notability has way more features than Apple Notes. If you're interested in our minimalist digital notebooks, make sure to check out our Teespring shop. We'll have a link to that in the description down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.